On day one, I woke up in a mine shaft as a baby rascal. Ow! What happened? Where am I? My head hurt so bad. Just then, I was confronted by a giant evil rascal who told me, I am Rascal Prime. And if you cannot find my lost gemstone, then I will drain the entire world of its ore resources. But I can't remember anything. How am I supposed to find an ancient gemstone? On day two, I explored through the abandoned mine shaft. I knew this place should be full of ore, but I couldn't remember what any of them were. Man, losing all of your memories makes your head feel super foggy. I continued walking and found some black speckles against the wall. Ooh, what is that? It's gotta be an ore. I knew I would need something to mine it, so I continued exploring. Luckily, I found a chest full of bread, some rails, and multiple used up wooden pickaxes. This'll do. I went back to the black speckled stone and mined it, obtaining the ore. Unfortunately though, silverfish emerged from it. Ah, tiny monsters! Terrified, I ran away as fast as I could to a safe spot. On day three, I found a safe place to examine the ore. Huh. Why can't I remember what this is? Wow, look at all this coal. It's amazing, isn't it? It really is. Thanks for coming out with me, Aaron. Of course. We're gonna tear this mine down inch by inch. Wait, what? Why would we do that? We're here to find that gemstone I told you about, remember? Oh, right. When we find it, our lives will change forever. I remember now, this is coal. I guess finding new ore could restore bits of my memory. But why was I hanging around that other rascal? How do I know him? And what is this gemstone he's talking about? I continued exploring the cave, knowing that this old mine shaft was a good place to start looking for more clues. On days four through seven, after much investigating, I exited the cave and it was the middle of the night. I wasn't sure what to expect. Hopefully it's safe to travel at this time. I began walking until hostile mobs came out and attacked me. I fought off a zombie or two, but more and more kept coming. At this rate, I would have been overwhelmed. Eek! Gotta hide! I found a solid place to lay low. Skeletons and zombies were passing without noticing me. <laughs> it's like a game of hide and seek. Once I thought the coast was clear, I poked my head out from safety. Ooh, that was close. I found ya. A creeper snuck up behind me and exploded, leaving me with very little hearts and destroying my hiding spot. Ow! Well, at least that's the last of them, right? Just then, a horde of creepers emerged and all started moving towards me. I knew I couldn't stick around here like this or I'd be toast. Ah! Gotta find shelter, and quick! I traveled around the overworld, looking for a place for me to go underground. But I was very disoriented. After all, rascals never go to the surface. During the chaos, I ran into a lone <laughs> sheep. Hey, watch it. Sorry, I need help. Creepers are chasing me. Creepers are what? Follow me, quick. The sheep ran off, and I followed like he said to. Thankfully, he found a cave entrance, which we entered, and I quickly blocked it in with dirt. Ew, how do you creatures live in the overworld? Eh, you get used to it. I've got a lot to learn then. On days 8 through 11, the sheep and I went our separate ways, and it was time to gather materials. I mined as much cobblestone as I could until my wooden pickaxe gave away. I quickly chopped down some trees and upgraded my tools with the abundance of cobblestone I had. Afterwards, I continued pressing deeper into the mines. As I mined, I realized just how scarce ore was. I only managed to find a couple blocks of coal. That rascal prime really is affecting the mines badly. Eventually, I found an abandoned mine shaft which I felt would be a good place to set up some shelter. I better start gathering a few more things. I returned to the surface and slayed a few cows for meat and leather. Since I was a rascal, I could move pretty fast, which made hunting cattle a lot easier. Once I was done, I turned the leather into armor. Now I'm feeling a little more protected. After that, I started the framework of my base. I started simple, but my plan was to carve out a giant underground hideout. I placed a chest, furnace, and crafting bench and cooked up my beef into steak. It's not much, but it feels like home. I scarfed down the steak and transformed into an adult rascal. I now had 10 hearts. Wow, this is amazing! And I have just the energy boost I need now. Finally, using leather and sticks, I made some picture frames and put some coal onto the wall. I know there are more ores out there somewhere. Hopefully, if I find more of them, I can restore my memory and learn more about this mysterious gemstone. On days 12 through 15, I searched through the tunnels under my base to find more ore. Surprisingly, there was none to be found. Huh, that's disappointing. I kept exploring, eventually finding a campfire and strange new ore nearby. 
Ooh, that looks new. I went to go grab it when I was confronted by a miner. Hey, that's mine. Don't touch it. Without warning, he started to attack me. He slashed me with his sword, leaving me no choice but to defend myself. I did my best, taking a swing and then getting some distance from him. The dude was resilient, absorbing every hit almost unfazed. At this rate, I knew I had to convince him with words. Hey man, please just stop. I wasn't trying to steal anything from you. It was an accident. Wait, so you're not the same rascal who's been excavating this whole area? No! Oh, well, then I'm deeply sorry. My name's Manny. The ore is so scarce in this area already. When the other rascal showed up, my issues only became more severe. Every day I find myself here with even less resources. I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, if you'd like, you want to join forces? I'd like that. And hey, you can have this iron. Wow, thanks. I mined the ore, surprised at how heavy it was. After that, Manny and I headed back to my base where I built him a room. Looks great. Thanks, Max. On days 16 through 18, I smelted the iron ore and plopped it into its place, which triggered a new memory for me. Whoa! Max, I found something. Whoa, is that the gem? Nah, it's just iron, but it's still pretty cool, right? Yeah. How did you find out about this gem anyways? Well, since you're my best friend, I'll show you. But you have to promise, this stays between us. My lips are sealed. I found this room while mining and discovered a letter. It told me about an incredible gem that was lost to time. If a talented miner were to discover it, they would have unlimited power. That's incredible. Can I see the note? No, don't touch it. I mean, sorry. It's just very important to me. Let's keep looking elsewhere. I think we're about to strike gold. Wow, that gem sounds incredibly powerful. I wonder why Aaron was acting so possessive over the letter. Something doesn't feel right. I better find those iron caves. I think they hold another clue to where I need to go next. Suddenly, I had a strange feeling and gained two hearts. Wow, I guess regaining my memories also makes me stronger now. I better keep pushing for more clues. On days 19 through 22, I decided to talk with my new friend in hopes that he might have some more information about the mines. Thanks for letting me keep that iron. Do you know where a rascal could find an iron ore mine shaft? Hmm, I might have an idea. Take this map, although I'm not sure about its current condition. This is a great start. Thank you so much. With my new map in hand, I set off in the direction of the iron mine shaft. During my travels, I discovered a plume of smoke coming from a mountain in the distance. I must be close. I pressed onwards until finally arriving at the entrance of the mine shaft. But to my surprise, it was full of iron golem workers taking the remainder of the ore. I figured they would know more about what was happening, so I went around to talk to the workers. Uh, excuse me, I wanted to ask... <gasps> Hello, could I? Go to work, bye. Why is everyone ignoring me? Suddenly, I heard the sound of heavy footsteps behind me. I turned around to discover a jungle golem guard looming over my shoulder. Hey you, get back to work. That gemstone isn't going to find itself. I don't work for you. Then you will perish in the name of Rascal Prime. I pulled out my stone sword and began to attack the guard. He was ruthless. Whenever he got too close, he would swing his giant fists at me, knocking down a few of my hearts. That wasn't enough to stop me though. As soon as I gained some distance, he started launching projectiles that honed in on my location. Luckily, I managed to smack a few back in his direction. With one final blow, I managed to defeat the guard and free the Iron Golems from the clutches of the Rascal Prime. Thank you for saving us. Would it be okay if I stay with you? I'm pretty good at mining iron. I'd be happy to have you. I tossed them over a map to my base and continued deeper into the mines. I needed to take a better look around before I left. On days 23 through 26, I was exploring the iron mine shaft to see what other secrets it held inside. Unsurprisingly, it was full of iron ore, but with such a shortage in the overworld, I made sure to mine plenty for safekeeping. You never know when iron will come in handy. Just then, I heard voices echoing in the mine shaft. I decided to stealth and see where it was coming from. To my surprise, I found Rascal Prime speaking to one of his guards. What is the status of phase one? Almost all of the ore has been removed from this mine. Excellent. That gem can't hide from me forever. Underneath all of this pathetic ore has to be my treasure. Yes, sir. There has been one setback, though. The rascal has been stirring up trouble and freeing your workers. They what? That pest is trying to keep me away from my gem. 
It must be Max. He's the only one that's ever gotten in my way before. Secure the area. Yes, sir. I'm the only one who's gotten in his way? What does he mean by that? I saw the guard coming my way, so I quickly made haste. I managed to flee the mines before any of the guards could spot me. That was a close one. On days 27 through 30, I returned to my base and smelted up the ore I had just gathered. I used my new ingots to craft iron tools as well as some iron armor. This is much better than leather. Things are looking up. Just then, Manny came up to me. You made it back. It's good to see you, buddy. Wait, is that iron? Uh-huh, and plenty of it. Aw, oh, man, since that nasty rascal started draining the world, this stuff is rare. A lot of creatures in the overworld are suffering from the shortages. Huh, you actually just gave me an idea. To help ease the shortage of materials, I decided to start building an iron shop. This way, people could come to my base and trade for valuable iron ingots. While I was at it, I built a coal shop next door. Now creatures far and wide will have access to the ore I find. I better find some ore to help as many people as possible. Just then, the iron golem walked up to me. What lovely shops. Iron and coal are sort of my specialties. I could mine them both if needed. Of course. While the iron golem settled in, I went ahead and got to work on a room for him. I made sure it had everything they needed to be comfortable. Once I was done, they came to check out my work. This is amazing. Thank you so much for everything. I wanted to give you this. The iron golem handed me a bunch of little ore fragments. Ooh, what's this? Special iron? You don't know what gold nuggets are. Go on, toss it into your crafting bench. You won't be disappointed. Okay, I'll do that right away. On days 31 through 34, I began crafting the gold nuggets I got from the iron golem. Whoa, this is so beautiful and shiny. I added it to my ore collection and instantly remembered a piece of my past. Hi, Aaron. Wait, who are all of these people? Oh, just some help I've gathered. We need all hands on deck if we're going to find the gem. Huh, well, all right. The more the merrier. Let's keep looking. Hold up, I think I found something. Whoa, is this a clue to the gem? Hey, hand that to me. What? But I found it. At least let me read it. You're supposed to be my teammate. So we need to share, right? Uh, I don't think giving you everything I find counts as sharing. Look, I just want it to be safe. You have a reputation of losing things. Remember when you lost my pickaxe in fourth grade? Aw, oh, man, that was so long ago. Fine, take it. Mmm, my precious. Something is not right with him. Aaron was really starting to act strangely. My best shot is going to be searching for that gold mine for more clues. Suddenly, I gained two hearts. Whoa, looks like my efforts are really paying off. On days 35 through 38, I set off in search of the gold mine shaft. I looked long and hard for this mysterious place, but kept falling short. Ugh, where is this place? To further assist my search, I entered a desert village to hopefully get some answers. Excuse me, have you seen a gold mine shaft around here? A gold mine shaft, eh? You're crazy. Pardon me, ma'am. I'm looking for a mine shaft filled with gold. Sorry, can't help you. My quest to find this unknown location seemed out of reach until a camel walked up to me. Hey there, bud. I hear you're looking for a gold mine shaft. Yes, yes I am. Can you help me? I think I can. I've heard stories of an ancient mine shaft filled with gold. If the legends are true. It should be close by. That's perfect. Let's get going. Whoa there, partner. I'm not just going to show you where it is. Oh, no? Why not? I've got a proposition for you. I need some help finding my one true love. True love? That's right. You help me find my partner, and I'll get you to that gold mine shaft. Sounds good to me. Let's get started. With that, I hopped on the camel's back, and we searched for any potential companions. How about her? Hmm. Too fuzzy. Sorry, man. She seems nice. Ugh, too spotty for me. Not gonna do. Picky, aren't we? I know what I like. We went on several dates, but unfortunately the camel wasn't clicking with anyone. I don't know, man. I'm thinking there's just no one out there for me. Don't say that. Of course there is. We just gotta keep looking. Uh, if you say so. Just then, I spotted something in the distance. Hold on, who's that? Huh? The camel was instantly stargazed by the sight of this animal. Is that a llama? She's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Really? Long neck, 
no spots, and just the right amount of fur. She's perfect. Well, what are you waiting for? Go talk to her. Okay, I'm going. I watch as the two hit it off without a hitch. Oh, a match made in heaven. He returned to me with the good news. Max, my man, you did it. This is great. She's definitely the one. Now I'm definitely going to find you that gold mine shaft. That's great. Let's go. I hopped back on the camel's back and we rode into the sunset. On days 39 through 41, I began my investigation of the golden mine. But to my surprise, the place had already been badly cratered. Who or what rampaged here? I kept my guard high and got to gathering as much gold as I could carry. I planned to share this wealth with the other mobs of the overworld. However, during my escapade, I discovered a low nether portal. What's this doing here? I jumped through the portal, hopeful that the clues I sought would be on the other side. When I arrived, I was on a platform in the center of a massive lava pool. Without warning, a giant gold golem dropped in front of me. Excuse me, I- you. I will destroy you. What? Without hesitation, the massive beast lunged at me full strength. I had no choice but to take out my blade and fight him back. He swung at me with his powerful fists, each hit dealing massive damage. Thankfully, his large size meant he wasn't as fast as me. I evaded the best I could and started landing swift hits whenever I found an opening, quickly causing his golden armor to crack. Even so, I quickly realized that the golem had regeneration abilities, giving him his golden shell back. We were neck and neck and I tried to plead with the monster, but he wouldn't listen to anything I said. Please, I don't want to hurt you. You're yeah, right. I won't let you enslave my people to work any longer. That's not me. Nice. The battle raged on and on, but I managed to bring the monster to his knees. If it's the gem you want so bad, fine. Take this, but leave my men out of it. The golem threw an old book and disappeared. I went ahead and picked it up to see what it said inside. If it is the gem you wish to find, then something red must be mine. Dang, I guess it's in another mine shaft. On days 42 through 45, I returned home to find the place bustling with customers. Wow, people really needed that iron. Well, I get to give them some gold now too. I got to work and began building a gold shop for all to enjoy. Once finished, Manny came over to offer his services. I could take this shop off your hands to get the business moving, if you like. That sounds great. Thanks, Manny. By the way, did you know that only a small percentage of the people watching the video are actually subscribed? What? Then they should definitely subscribe to MaxCraft and ring the bell for notifications. Yeah, let's get to 2 million subs. Next, I expanded the base further by adding a forge for easier access to smelting ore into ingots. Afterwards, I built a chest room to store all the ore and ingots we find. This'll keep me organized. With the new gold shop finished, I figured I'd treat myself with some gold armor and a sword. I bet I'm even more powerful now. To test my new items, I went out in the dead of night to find some mobs to fight. After fighting off a few, I soon realized that my gold armor and sword was already near broken. I think I'll stick with iron next time. I returned back to the base where I heard a scream. What was that? Thief! I ran to the source to find a spider stealing a customer's gold. Hey, you! Get back here! They ran away and I chased after them. On days 46 through 48, I was in hot pursuit of the spider thief. While following his trail, I was led into a cavern with a strange red ore sitting alone in the wall. What's that? I took out my pickaxe and mined it for safekeeping. Unlike any other ore before, this one lit up while I hit it. Wow, this stuff is crazy. Could this be a new ore? I kept digging in hopes of finding even more of this new discovery. As I mined deeper and deeper, I was losing hope when suddenly I found a huge patch of the mysterious ore. Sweet, more red stuff. I mined away until getting to the last piece. Wait a second, something doesn't seem right here. Ah! The spider lunged at me from the wall and attacked me full force, and it wasn't alone. A whole swarm came to their aid. Spiders began funneling out of the small opening. Swinging my axe, I knocked them back, killing off one after another. They had numbers, but I had gained enough experience through previous battles to end this bout swiftly. After some back and forth, I managed to take down the entire army of spiders. Upon their death, I was able to reclaim my customer's gold, as well as some red powder they dropped. I better get this back to the customer. I returned to the base and gave back the gold I found. Once I was alone, I took a look at the red dust I had gotten from the cavern. I think this is the key to my next memory. I better use my crafting bench. On days 49 through 51, I used the red dust I snagged to craft it into a block. Whoa, so this is red stone? Wow, you've really expanded the workforce. As you can see, our efforts to find the gemstone have increased tenfold. 
everybody here knows to come straight to me if they see anything out of the ordinary. Don't you think that's a little excessive? These guys look tired. Excessive? Of course not. They're invested in the cause as much as I am. Sure, they do look pretty invested. I'll give you that. I will stop at nothing to get the gemstone, and I will eliminate whatever or whoever stands in my way. Actually, I am getting kind of tired. Tired? That's a shame. Slackers don't get to have any bread. No! I'm sorry. I'll keep working. This doesn't feel right. Don't worry. That gem will be mine in no time. Don't you mean ours? Oh, uh, yes, of course. Now let's melt this place down. I think we're getting close to the rarest of ores in the overworld. He keeps getting worse and worse. I don't know why, but I have a feeling that my next memory is going to be something really big and bad. I gotta find this next sparkly ore and remember as soon as I can. With more of my memory restored, I gained two more hearts. Nice! On days 52 through 55, I talked with Manny about any rare ore he might know of. Have you seen any shiny ores in the overworld I should know about? Have you heard of emeralds before? They're pretty shiny. He then dropped me an emerald to examine, but it did nothing for me. He then dropped another ore. It was blue and not shiny at all. How about this one? It's lapis. These are pretty hard to find. I examined the lapis a bit further, but again, the ore didn't ring any bells. I don't think this is it, Chief. Got anything else? Manny continued to show me different ores, but none of them triggered my memories. Manny stood there pondering on what other rare gems were out there, until... You don't mean diamonds, do you? Uh, maybe. That stuff is rare enough without this rascal mumbo jumbo. They probably mined out most of it, but if you dig deep enough, you might find some. I'm sure there's more. Awesome. Thanks, Manny. It seemed like these rare ores may be the ones I was looking for. I went deeper into the mine searching for this rare gem, but no matter how hard I looked, I couldn't find any diamond. This isn't working. I'll need something more explosive if I want to find this faster. I wandered off to find creepers so that I could get my hands on some gunpowder. Upon exiting the tunnel, I found a cave full of redstone and creepers. Whoa! This place is packed to the brim! I began to cut down the creepers, making sure to get my distance whenever one started to detonate. Hiya! Take this! There were a few close calls, but after a while, I slayed the final green monster. But just as I thought I got them all, an even bigger creeper appeared. Uh-oh. On days 56 through 58, I battled it out with the mutant creeper. I charged at the giant creeper, but he instantly headbutted and launched me back. Leaping towards the ceiling, he came crashing down upon me, shaking the ground underneath him. I tried my best to gain some distance, but he was just way too persistent. I managed to get a second to eat food in order to gain some health back, but as soon as I charged in, he started summoning creepers to fight alongside him. But with my iron sword, I was able to finish them off. He started to catch up to me, knocking me down a couple hearts, but it wasn't enough. I managed to get behind, and with one final swing, I finished him off. This caused him to explode, sending me flying and landing right on the edge of a lava pool. Phew, that was a close one. The mutant creeper dropped tons of gunpowder, and with that, it was time to make my explosive tools to aid me in my search for diamonds. I need to head home and make myself some TNT. I made it back home, where Manny hooked me up with multiple stacks of sand. Using that and my gunpowder, I crafted as much TNT as possible. Manny told me that I had to dig deeper if I wanted to find diamonds, so I used my newly crafted explosives and got to work. This should be a good spot. Fire in the hole! I lit the TNT. It exploded, revealing diamonds. I excitedly mined it, but unfortunately, nothing happened. Huh? What's going on here? Just like the redstone from before, my memories weren't being triggered at all. Maybe I need to make these into a block. But if that's gonna happen, I'm gonna need some more diamonds. On days 59 through 62, I continued placing more TNT around the mine until I finally found the last piece of diamond I needed. Finally, I'll get to learn more about my past. Just then, Rascal Prime appeared before me. You've proven to be a real thorn in my side. Rascal, you have managed to gather so much more ore, even though I've been sucking this world dry of it. That's right, and I just got the last diamond I needed for my memories. Well, we can't have that happen now, can we? You won't remember anything more once you're dead. The Rascal Prime summoned a massive skeleton to battle me and ran away. There was no time to think. I had to battle the beast head on. I used my small size to quickly run past him. As he slammed his hand, 
hammer into the ground behind me. With my remaining TNT, I place it in the space between us to do some major damage, but it had no effect. As soon as I saw another opening, I swung my sword, but he was always quick to block it with his ginormous shield. Man, this guy was tough. I was quick enough to dodge his attacks, but my equipment just wasn't strong enough to defeat this Goliath. Nothing I did was working. I tried my best, but the beast was just too strong. He hit me, causing me to fly back in defeat. Hand over the diamonds! No! I need these! If you don't, I'll destroy your base! Ugh, fine! I reluctantly tossed over the diamonds, then the beast left. I'm a failure. On days 63 through 65, I was feeling defeated that I was low on diamonds again. They're so scarce. How am I supposed to find more? Just then, a sniffer walked up to me. You looking around for some diamond? Yes! How did you know? I could just tell. I can help sniff them out for you. Really? On one condition, you must help me save my tough golem buddy. He's stuck in a crater. I'd be happy to help. Take me there. I followed the sniffer to the crater in question to find a little tough golem cowering in fear. Help! Don't worry, I'm coming. I quickly got to mining and created a small stairway down to the tough golem below. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. No problem, but why are you stuck down here anyways? This crater used to be full of diamonds. I thought maybe if I checked, I'd get lucky, but I accidentally fell in. Dang, then I guess there's no diamonds here too? Actually, I can smell a few remaining ones lurking in the walls. Let me get to work. The tough golem and I watched the sniffer sniff around the walls and floor of the crater, occasionally digging up a diamond or two. By sunset, he had found enough for me to complete my block. Thank you so much. Now I can finally remember more about my past. On days 66 through 68, I returned home to craft myself a diamond block. Okay, now hopefully with this block, I'll be able to see another piece of my past. Aaron, what are you doing? This little rat has the gem, and he doesn't want to share. Please, sir, I don't know what you're talking about. Liar! Aaron, buddy, what's gotten into you? You're scaring him. Do you think I care about that? He's keeping it from me. He knows that I deserve it. I don't think he does. He does, and I'll prove it. Ah! <laughs> Finally, the gem will be mine. Aaron, why would you do that? I told you he didn't have it. Grr, I could have sworn he took it. It must be around here somewhere. We haven't found it yet. You need to relax, Aaron. Stop calling me Aaron. That's not my name anymore. I've decided to go by a new name, a more fitting name. You can call me Rascal Prime. And with your help, I will rip apart this earth block by block to find my precious gemstone. Whoa, so my old friend Aaron is Rascal Prime? I have to find more ore and get to the bottom of this. Just then, I had a strange feeling and gained two more hearts. I'm stronger for the journey ahead. Let's get the last of my memories. On days 69 through 71, I crafted a shield. After that, as I was leaving the search for the diamond mines, the tough golem approached me. Hey, Max, I just wanted to thank you again for saving me from that crater. I heard you were going to look for the diamond mines, right? That's right. I'm heading out right now to look for it. Great! Maybe this can help. He then dropped me a mysterious map. Oh? What's this? It's a map the Sniffer and I found a while back. We believe it leads straight to the diamond mines you're looking for. Really? That's great. Did you want to come with me? We can find it together. Thanks, but I'm all right. I think we've had our fair share of adventure recently. We'll be around if you need us. Well, this is a great start to helping me find it. Feel free to stay here if you like, or even check out the shops. For sure! Safe travels, friend! With that, I began my journey to locate the diamond mines. I followed the tough golem's map closely to ensure I didn't go off trail. After a lot of travel, I made it to my destination. X marks the spot. This has to be it. Upon entering the mines, I realized that the inside wasn't ruined. Did Rascal Prime tear this place up too? It's completely changed from what I remember. I continued throughout the cave system to see if I could find any important clues. During my inspection, a massive diamond golem suddenly emerged. 
You, you are the one who took all of my resources. Now you must die. No, wait! You got it all wrong! The large diamond golem readied his blade and rushed straight at me. He would charge up his attack and swing his mighty blade. As I got closer, he would immediately knock me back with his shield. This time, I was prepared. With my new shield, I stopped what could have been fatal blows to my body. As soon as he blocked again, I ran around him and slashed his back. Please! You have the wrong rascal! What do you mean? You are the rascal that has torn my home limb from limb! I began to explain the situation between Rascal Prime and what his plans were. I see. I was wrong to judge you so quickly. My apologies. It's okay. And just so you know, I also wish to protect this world's resources. Then I wish to aid you any way I can. Please, take some of my precious gems and allow me to stay at your base. Sounds like a deal. On days 72 through 75, as soon as I got back to the base, I got straight to work. The diamond golem was super tall, so I had to make his shop a bit bigger than the others. With the finishing touches, the shop was all set up. A couple seconds later, the diamond golem approached me. This is such a lovely shopping center. May I be the one to pass out diamonds to the people of the overworld? I wouldn't have it any other way. The diamond golem tossed over some diamonds, which I then used to make myself diamond armor and diamond tools. Look at me now, ma. After that, I decided to build the diamond golem a room. I again had to account for his massive size, but after a while, the build was complete. Looking good. I was still in a building mood, so I decided to spruce up different parts of the base. I changed some blocks to match my mind shaft aesthetic, as well as build a common area where shoppers could hang out. Wow, this place is looking great. I should go talk with Manny to figure out what other ores are out there. I think the final ore is the rarest of all, the one that resides in the nether, netherite. The nether? Come to think of it, I was there and one of the residents was acting very aggressive towards me. I better check it out. In order to get to the nether, I'd have to get my hands on some obsidian to make a portal. Just like the one I saw in the gold mine. I went deeper into the mines until I found what I was looking for. Holy cow, it's hot in here! I better be careful around all this lava. I started gathering all of the purple rocks I needed. After mining quite a bit, I made a neat little room in my base for the portal. With the flint and steel I made earlier, I lit the portal. I entered with a clear objective in mind search for the last door and gain the remainder of my memories. On days 76 through 78, I traveled through the nether, and only after a few steps, I was confronted by a horde of piglins. Why are you guys always waiting for me? It's the Rasko. He returned. Attack! No, wait! The horde came charging towards me. I had no choice but to take out my sword and defend myself. The piglin brute charged in with his golden blade, leading his army directly at me. As a group, they swung at me in unison, dealing great amounts of damage. I tried to keep my distance and slash at them with my diamond sword, but there were just too many. The longer the battle raged on, the faster I became overwhelmed. At this rate, I was gonna lose. I can't keep this up. Gotta find a place to hide. I quickly ran off and found a place to hide from the piglin army and waited. I was a rascal after all, so hiding was my specialty. Uh, where did he go? After a while, things went quiet. I think the coast is clear. Young rascal! I turned around and was startled by an old piglin behind me. Ah, please don't hurt me! No, no! I wouldn't do that. Then why are you here? I have some information that might help you on your journey. On days 79 through 81, I spoke to the old piglin more about the information he had. I know you're not the one who has been causing the disruption of the ore. Finally! Everyone keeps pinning it on me. Yes, I know. I'm sorry for the actions of the others. These people are acting on fear alone and not using logic. Well, what did you want to tell me? Rascal Prime has been forcing piglins to work for him and taking all of our gold in search of the gemstone. You must stop him before he's able to get it. Is it really that bad if he finds it first? Yes, the gemstone isn't an ordinary ore. It possesses magical abilities that empower the user beyond recognition. Those who have the stone are the strongest beings in existence. Yikes, that definitely cannot fall into the wrong hands. But I'm still missing some of my memories. I think the last bit holds something vital. I see your mind has attached itself to particular pieces of ore. Please, take this. He tossed over an ingot I had never seen before, but I could tell right away what it meant. This is the last piece of my memory. On days 82 through 85, I stared at the ingot and was confronted with my final flashback. 
Finally! We got enough netherite to make a pickaxe! We should be able to find the gemstone soon. <laughs> that gemstone is closer than ever! I can feel it! With my netherite blade will be unstoppable! Blade? You made a sword? Of course! What else would I have made? You're going to make a pickaxe, so I could just use you however I need. I'm not a tool to just use! I want my friend back! You're going down a horrible path, Aaron! My name is Rascal Prime! Whatever it is, I can't trust you. That's why I never told you where the final clue is hidden. The final what? Uh-oh. Tell me where the clue is, Max. I'm not afraid to cut you down to size. Never. Then you're no use to me. Ah, oh, what happened? Where am I? My head hurts so bad. I remember now! Rascal Prime hit my head, making me lose all of my memories. I have to find where I hid that clue. It's the key to everything. Just then, I gained two hearts for my regained memories. Very good, young rascal. I wish I could assist you further, but that's all I have to offer. You helped me more than enough. Thank you. On days 86 through 88, I returned to my base to regroup before my journey ahead. I made sure I gathered enough food and materials just in case. While I'm here, I think I'm finally gonna finish this place. I went around my base, adding paintings and other details to make things look more presentable overall. I even added different types of carpet to make things feel more like a rascal. Once I finished, I noticed just how many people were attending the shops now. It's almost like a little mall. I think this place needs one more thing. I quickly got to work on a little food court for my customers to eat at and enjoy. I made sure there were plenty of tables and a kitchen for the chef to work in. With that, the base was finally complete. I like it. It's very resourceful. Just then, a customer came up to me. Thank you so much for everything you've done to provide ore to the people of the overworld. We all came together to get you this. The customer tossed over a pair of netherite boots. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I promise I'll put a stop to Rascal Prime. Later in the day, I was going about my business when a young villager came up to me. Hi, I actually have something that might help you. The villager tossed over a strange old map. Where did you get this? My dad used to be a miner. This map was once full of all kinds of pretty gems. Maybe it can help you find what you're looking for. I'll definitely check this out. Thanks. On days 89 through 92, I followed the map towards the cave, eventually making it into a desert biome and a small lava pit. All right, I think I'm getting closer. Just then, I was ambushed by a pack of gusters. I quickly took out my sword and began to fight them off. They were small, but were able to pack a punch. With their powerful winds, they took blocks from the ground and sent them flying towards me. Not only did they have projectiles, but they could also pick me up in their vortex and shoot me into the air. I fended them off with my diamond sword, taking them out one by one. I was more powerful, but they outnumbered me. One of my foes even managed to knock the map off of me and caused it to land in the nearby lava pit. No! My map! You'll pay for that! I finished off the last of them, but it was too late. My map was gone. Well, I better keep moving. I pressed on, but the more I walked, the less I knew where I was. If only there were signs that pointed towards ancient caves. Just then, I noticed a sign. Rascal Flats ahead? Whoa, a town full of rascals? I better check this out. I headed in the direction of the signs and found a village with a giant path placed directly down the center. Am I in the wrong place? I decided to go talk to one of the locals for more information. Um, excuse me? Is this Rascal Flats? Yep, where the blues won't haunt you anymore. What's with the big path? That there is the highway, the road you travel on. Uh-huh, but where are the rascals? Why, it's only as villager folk in these parts. Aw, oh, man. Now, I know this wasn't what you're expecting, but life is a highway, and you just gotta ride it all night long. That advice actually gives me an idea. I began to follow the massive road, allowing it to guide me towards the cave. I had a feeling that it would take me where I wanted to go. On days 93 through 95, I reached the end of the highway and discovered the cavern waiting for me. Wow, I guess that did help. I quickly got to looking inside of the cave. I couldn't place my finger on it, but I was definitely getting deja vu. This has to be the place. I can feel it. I walked into a particular area and remembered everything. 
Wait, this is where I spawned and where Rascal Prime and I got into our argument. I hid it here, right under his nose. I quickly dug down and discovered a chest with a map inside. This is my clue. The gemstone is as good as mine. You mean as good as mine. I turned around and saw Rascal Prime towering before me. Hand me the map, Max. Why would I do that? You'll be capable of who knows what. Well, if you don't hand it to me peacefully, I'll take it by force. Rascal Rascal Prime charged at me full force and attacked. The two of us went back and forth, rascal to rascal. He tried to lean on his old tricks and knocked me from the platform above. Thankfully, I was stronger than before. That's not gonna work this time. Rascal Prime jumped down after me and we continued our battle on the level below. He was incredibly powerful and unlike any other opponent I had faced until this point. Even though he was evil, he was still my best friend in the past. It was difficult to fight him, but I had to push past my feelings and defend the overworld. I tried as hard as I could, but he was just too powerful. He landed a huge blow, causing me to drop the map so he could take it for himself. Finally, that gem will be mine! No! I tried to chase after him, but he ran away before I could. I can't believe it. I couldn't have lost, right? On days 96 through 98, I returned home with a heavy heart. As I got there, Manny rushed up to me. What's wrong, Max? Did you find the final clue? I did, but Rascal Prime took it. This is the end, Manny. No, you can't give up now. You're so close to finding the gemstone. But what am I supposed to do? I'm all out of clues. I and the other mobs you've saved actually have a surprise for you. I followed Manny to another section of the base. All of my friends were waiting for me with a cake. Surprise! 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 A party? For me? But I failed you all. No, you absolutely did not. Please, have some cake. I was still down about my fight with Rascal Prime, but I still decided to dig in. Surprisingly, this caused me to grow bigger and double my hearts. Whoa! We also made you something. What the? Is this what I think it is? We worked together and found one final lead. This, we think, is the whereabouts of the gem. Go now, Max, and beat Rascal Prime at his own game. Wow, this is incredible. Thank you, everyone. I won't let you down. With that, I left the party to defeat Rascal Prime once and for all. On day 99, I arrived at the destination on my new map to find a strange looking temple. Time to end this. I walked inside and was immediately faced with the ancient gem waiting on a pedestal. I had managed to beat Rascal Prime to it. I slowly approached the relic and took in the sight of it. I could tell just by looking at it how much power it held. This is even more beautiful than I ever imagined. I was about to grab it when Rascal Prime appeared. You? How did you get here? Let's just say I have my connections. I'm not letting you get this stone. Ha! Ah, too bad for you, this game is over. He began to rush towards the gem and I intercepted him as fast as I could. I had to fight him off from gaining its power at all costs. Rascal Prime jumped and charged for the gemstone, but I intercepted each of his attempts with a swing of my diamond sword. After a few attempts, he redirected his attention to attacking me instead. The two of us fought sword to sword over the priceless gem and neither side was letting up. I thought for sure I had him, but I didn't anticipate what came next. He waited for his chance and managed to knock me back just long enough to snag the gem from the pedestal. No! Yes, I can feel it! Unlimited power! Rascal Prime transformed into a powerful beast right before my very eyes. Now to end you once and for all! On day 100, I was in the middle of the final battle with Rascal Prime. In his new form, he had a mythical lance made from the gem itself accompanied by a more powerful body. Each attack that landed on me dealt lots of damage, so I had to be sure to evade his strikes. His lance had a great amount of range, so when I found an opening, I ran in close with my diamond blade and struck him with all of my strength. I dodged and weaved, landing my attacks in between his own. The fight was incredibly close, but over my 100 day journey, I had grown into a powerful warrior. I continued to slash down Rascal Prime until its health was critically low. Let the gem go, Aaron! I am no longer the friend you knew. I will kill you and all of the creatures in this world. Then I'm sorry. I have to protect everyone. I landed one final blow, killing Rascal Prime and ending his rampage on the world. I did it! Upon his death, he dropped the gemstone, which I retrieved for safekeeping. I'm gonna use this gem to restore the overworld to its former glory. All creatures will once again have access to ore and live in peace.